I usually spend my time at thrift stores, but every once in a while I wind up at Walmart. And while I was there recently, I found this Adventure Force RC Micro RC car. Now these things have been around for a while. They always come with uh, different body types and styles, but I didn't really like this Corvette style. But I'm like, yeah, I'm still going to get it. It'd be fun just to kind of mess around with this little RC car. But then I saw this Hot Wheels car. The 67 off-road Camaro with these giant tires. Red, white, and blue color scheme. Are you kidding me? Yes. Yes. Then it got me thinking I could take this die-cast car, take the body off the top, and put it on the RC car. Huh? But I thought with my experience with these little micro RC cars, they're usually way too fast anyway, so maybe the extra weight will slow it down and be a little bit more manageable to race on tabletops. And this car is so cool. But now that I'm looking at it up close, I'm realizing that the chassis also is the rear and the front bumper. So if I take the chassis off, it's going to change the way this car looks. But either way, we'll open them up and see what we got going on here. So as we take apart this Adventure Force RC car, and I don't know if you're keeping track of this, but I'm at Walmart and I'm seeing Adventure Force brand everywhere. They got like Nerf type guns and other toys and these RC cars and all kinds of other stuff. They're coming in with a force. Adventure, Adventure Force. So this little Camaro is amazing. This is the kind of car that I would have dreamed of having when I was a kid. I'm dreaming of having it right now. I do have it right now. And I don't want to wreck it, you know, because to take the body off, you got to drill out these little posts on the bottom here. And I just don't want to do that. And especially look at this. It's got rubber tires, extra big wheel wells. This is such a cool looking car. What am I going to do with a Matchbox car? I'm sorry, a Hot Wheels. I don't know. So, yeah, that's where the RC cars kind of make more sense to me because I'm like, well, what do I do with a car just sits there? How much more fun would it be to actually be able to drive it around? Oh my goodness, this thing has lights. It has headlights and braking lights or reverse lights. That is amazing. So let's give this thing a little test run. Okay, it does what I expected. It's pretty fast. It spins around. We got, uh, what do we got here? Six turn. We can go forward, left, right, backward, left, right. That, those lights, that's going to be cool if it has lights on it. How neat is that? So looking at this Camaro, I just realized the wheel wells are different and it really is kind of making me not want to take this Hot Wheels body off now because it's just enough. I mean, I think the larger wheel wells will compensate and I could probably get it in there and it won't cause that big of a problem. But I'm also realizing it looks a little narrow as well. And I just remembered that I have a box of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars in the cupboard. Yeah, that's where I keep them. Where do you keep your Matchbox cars? <laughs> I picked these up a while ago. I was going to resell them as a bundle. And now that I'm looking through these, there's some really cool little cars. I sold all my old childhood cars. And I noticed when I was looking through this box that there are a couple of ones that I used to have as a kid. And it's kind of neat just to see them and think back and reminisce on how cool these cars looked. I kept my cars in way better condition than these, though. These things are completely worn out. And look at this. I didn't realize I have a Batmobile. What? Whoa, what is this? Knight Rider. You guys, I got Knight Rider. This box is full of all kinds of gems. Unfortunately, these cars, well, I guess fortunately for the person that owned them, these cars are really well played with, which is fine with me because I was watching a video of the Steady Crafton Craftsman and he made a bunch of like Mad Max post-apocalyptic type cars and it got me thinking like, oh, that'd be kind of fun to do that. But there's some other options here. If I didn't want to take apart this Camaro, I could probably get into one of these like vans. I never liked these plastic hoods on these things or one of these other types of cars. It could be an option. So now that I'm looking at this thing, there's no way I'm going to wreck this Camaro. It's just too cool looking. I'll probably give it to a nephew or niece. or no, Yeah, right. I'm going to keep it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but what I'm thinking is I do like the red, white, and blue color scheme. So I'm thinking I'm just going to spray paint the current body, this Corvette body, and just make it the same color scheme. It's just white with red and blue pinstripes. How hard can that be, right? Eh, it's a little hard. We'll find out later on. Taking this body off, we got a little headlight plastic and the taillight plastic. It's pretty easy. All right. So I'm just going to sand it a little bit and get it ready and then paint it up. And while that's drying, it got me thinking, you know, I used to be into slot cars. Yeah, HO slot cars for sure. So these are some of my old slot car bodies. And, and I was looking at that plastic body from the RC car and I'm like, these look kind of the same. When I was younger, I was really into this slot car stuff. And what the funny thing was, I wasn't even that good at racing, but I would go to the races every Sunday and me and my buddy were really into this so much so that we would get like 
intense. We would drill out all the plastic because the theory was less plastic, less weight. And the idea is that you want less weight in the back so the tail end doesn't spin out. So we would drill out these little gear hubs and even the hubcaps we would drill out. It was insane. It would be different if we were actually good. I think he was a lot better than I was, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'll go into more about this in another video. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear more about that. It's hilarious, some of this stuff. And I definitely want to share some of these old slot cars and some of those other stories. But look at this. This is one of my favorites. Love this car body. It looked amazing. Always liked it. This is actually a Johnny Lightning car. These were retro style bodies that would come on little pullback chassis. And then you could unscrew it from those chassis and then put them on HO cars. Really cool little concept that Johnny Lightning did. And... It was perfect timing too because Johnny Lightning came out with these HO retro bodies. I was just getting into slot car racing and all these new retro bodies are showing up and they're actually super affordable because the original ones were super expensive, you know, because they're from the 70s. I would buy some, I'd keep them for a while, then I would sell them trying to make money so I could use it towards getting higher quality parts for my slot car racing, which I still wasn't that good at it. I want to know if this body will fit on this RC chassis. Oh my goodness. It fits. This is amazing. Now, it sits a little high, but it kind of works with this truck body. And from up here, you can't even tell. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. Look at this. It has headlights and tail lights. Wow, this whole video just went a whole different direction now. Adventure Force RC Micro Cars. Now, I don't totally feel comfortable leaving the car on here because it does stretch out that body a little too much <laughs> for my taste, especially on these old vintage car bodies because this one's an original vintage from the 1970s and that plastic starts to get brittle and I'm looking here on the board and it looks like I'm not going to be able to trim it down with a Dremel or anything because it looks like the board is using all of the wires but that is pretty amazing though now Adventure Force really missed the mark here because this the, the body doesn't quite fit you can see here how the tires don't line up they really missed their chance to just capitalize on that slot car market because the way that little board is it would work perfectly with the little clips inside of the slot car body see that oh that'd be so cool but for what it is it does kind of work enough to where for ten dollars you could well i guess you could just leave the body that it comes with and just leave that and just brace it around and put it on your shelf or in a drawer and never use it again like you're planning on doing anyways right <laughs> but anyways all right the paint's dry let's bring this in i did some pinstriping i realized that i'm awful at painting micro cars I don't know why I used scotch tape and paint. I should have just used a marker and just ran three lines down really quick. But from back here, it kind of looks good up close and eh, not so much. But here we go. I got my red, white, and blue color scheme. It's not totally exactly how I wanted it. It's not on the cool Camaro body, but it is what it is, right? But I think it's super cool that we figured out that the Adventure Force chassis does fit the HO scale cars for the slot car body. So you could have a slot car race without a slot car track. That's amazing. Check out links in the basement if you are interested in these cars or want to find out any more about uh, the slot car stuff. I'll put some links down there for the Johnny Lightning stuff. But thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see more about the slot car stuff. There it is. See you next time. Now that is a nice ride. That right there is it. That's the nice ride. That's amazing. Look, look how cool that looks. <laughs> this isn't so bad though. It's not so bad.